Hello YouTube, welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. Today we're gonna to be talking about specific dev error codes in Warzone, specifically 6634 and 6635. Now these dev errors have come back since season two has released and I have some things you can try that hopefully get you fixed and have you up and streaming successfully just like myself. As usual, no BS, no fluff, here we go. All right, here we are inside my war zone. Um, there's some things I've noticed and research I've done to get you fixed with these two specific errors. Um, and one of the things I noticed is with season two, a lot of dev errors started coming back, all kinds of things came back. And a lot of my friends who hadn't had issues in a long time started having issues. Uh, one of my main fixes in other videos uh, that I do is, is where I go through and when, when these big updates happen, what happens is um, they're not updating the game correctly and uh, copying over or removing certain shader and cache file locations. So what happens is it corrupts the game. Sometimes a scan repair can fix it, but a lot of times it doesn't. Um, and you have to basically go in and uninstall the game and go in manually and get rid of every single shader and cache location you possibly can. Now I've covered this many, many times in my other videos, but some other fixes I want to talk to you guys about is what I don't typically do is jump into season content right away. I don't start using all kinds of skins and operators and, and guns and, and the gun skins and, and the attachments and modifications. And what, what we found out through testing is that there's a lot of loadouts and a lot of guns and operator skins that actually will cause these dev errors now as you can see in a lot of my weapon loadouts I'm not I'm not running any of the the new stuff and I'm not having any issues now I know what you're saying that really really sucks but it also sucks not being able to play um, and I'm not running any of the new skins or any of the new operators I'm still running my my grim reaper kind of skin here I'm not running any of the new content I'm not having any of those issues um, also preemptively I did uh, wipe my game delete all the shader and cache location folders manually and reinstall a fresh copy of the game. So I'm not running any season two content on the loadouts. I deleted the game and all the cache shader file locations. Those are two big, big things that are creating stability for me. Uh, you can see a lot of pros and pro streamers and tournaments getting crashes during tournaments and things like that. Very, very, very frustrating. Um, there's another suspicion that uh, what I'm seeing is two people getting dropped at the same time on my team and having the same exact dev error code. Um, I've seen People get dropped from the server and parties and squads um, in pairs almost every single time. I would say nine out of ten times when someone dev errors, another person typically dev errors. Um, and this was with me playing with someone uh, in Europe and then someone on East Coast and I'm on West Coast US. Um, and it seems to happen where the two furthest people seem to get dropped, like the European and the East Coast person from me, and I'll stay on if I'm party leader. Um, that's been happening a lot so there seems to be some sort of server side issues with the disconnect depending on what's in your loadout and where your parties are located so there, there's definitely some big big issues going on with season two right now and the top three things i can tell you to fix the dev error 6634 and 6635 is try not using the new content the operator skins and the guns until they get a patch out to fix the game because it is broken and it will cause dev errors from what I've seen. Um, definitely, if you can, uninstall the game. I will list the video below on my instructions on how to delete all the shader locations. I will also list the shader locations. This has been my mega fix for a year, a year and I have successfully streamed Warzone for a year and have not had to suffer with the dev error issues um, because this typically, after a big update like season two, will resolve all of that. And if you go through the pain of that, it'll pay off, I promise you, and also, we might just have to wait um, for them to fix uh, the server side issues and these, this new content issue. So I guess there's, there's, there's only really two solid things you can do right now is with the modifying your loadouts and also either recompiling your shaders, doing a scan repair fix, or just deleting the game altogether, getting the shader and cache location folders deleted, reboot your computer, and then you know uh, reinstall the game. And then again, uh, hopefully just waiting for these, these patches to correct itself with these server side issues. Um, Cause I definitely seen people getting dropped in pairs and having dev error codes, which means it's not independent on the person's system. It's dependent on somehow with the connection of the server. I'm having one other friend of mine also disconnect at the two hour mark. I'm seeing a lot of people get disconnected or dev errored at a two hour mark. So there's definitely something wrong on Activision's part, Treyarch, whoever, Ravensoft, whoever's managing the servers. They are screwing up royally. They're screwing up the updates. They're screwing up the coding. 
They are affecting streamers. They're affecting people's, uh, you know, jobs in the field that of the gaming industry and esports. Um, and they need to really, really pay attention. I mean, it's already bad enough we don't have an anti-cheat system, but it's even worse that they don't know how to properly update the game and encode it properly. Um, the servers get packet loss a lot of times, you're getting disconnects. So it's, it's very, very odd behavior and it is very, very broken right now. And the only way that I'm successfully able to play, like I said, was changing my loadouts up, making sure I'm not using the latest, newest skins and guns since the coding seems to be broken, and also, you know, deleting the game, deleting all the shader and cache locations, doing a fresh, clean install. Um, one of my buddy's systems was so bad, he had to reinstall Windows and just start from scratch, and he hasn't had any issues since for months and months. So keep this in mind. I hope this, guy, this video helps you guys out. It's an honest, truthful video with what's going on and how I'm avoiding these dev errors during this unfortunate time of this AAA title company not giving enough attention and care to their, their fan base. Um, it's not all about money all the time, Activision, and we really need some help in uh, getting this game fixed and resolved. I hope this video helped you guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I love to comment down below to everybody I can, and uh, click that notification bell. We have a lot of fun on the live streams. I'm live streaming here on YouTube twice a week. Uh, I'm Draco Reed Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.